The following is for informational purposes only and is not intended as legal advice. The animal feed and pet food industry is represented by thousands of farms, feed mills, and animal food processing facilities that offer a diverse array of raw agricultural commodities and processed animal food products. Many of these businesses are going to be affected by the Food Safety Modernization Act. Feed mills, animal feed, and pet food processors and manufacturers, as well as holding facilities that sell products all over the world will be affected. But so will many smaller mills and pet food makers that distribute their products to local and regional markets. This video will help you to understand what the Food Safety Modernization Act is all about and know whether it applies to your operation. Then we'll see if any of your animal or pet food products are covered under the Preventive Controls for Animal Food Rule. So now let's get started with a little background information to help you to understand what the Food Safety Modernization Act is. The Food Safety Modernization Act, commonly shortened to FSMA and pronounced FSMA, is a federal law. In the U.S., Congress passes laws and the President signs them into law. FSMA was passed in Congress in 2010 and President Obama signed it into law on January 4, 2011. Congress assigned the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA for short, responsibility for enforcing FSMA. In 2015 and 16, the FDA finalized the FSMA regulations that we'll discuss in this video. FSMA regulations only apply to commercially packed and processed animal feed or pet food. Before we continue, let's take a quick look at what types of operations are not covered by this law. First, home-based businesses where processing and manufacturing take place within a personal residence are not covered. Also, retail establishments that sell animal feed or pet food directly to consumers are not covered. But be sure you check with your State Department of Agriculture to see if any local regulations apply. Information on Pennsylvania state regulations that apply to home-based feed and pet food businesses are available on the Penn State FSMA website. Now, let's take a brief look at the seven FSMA regulations, or rules as they are also called. Each of these rules has a long official name which you can find at the FDA's website and a shorter name by which most refer to it. We'll use the short names here. The seven rules are the Produce Safety Rule, the Preventive Controls for Human Food Rule, Preventive Controls for Animal Food, Food Defense, Transportation, the Imported Food Auditor's Rule, and the Import Verification Rule. The regulation that will affect commercial animal feed processors and mills in the U.S. is the Preventive Controls for Animal Food Rule. The full name is Current Good Manufacturing Practice, Hazard Analysis, and Risk-Based Preventive Controls for Food for Animals, and will focus on this rule. You can see from this longer title that the regulation has two basic components, Good Manufacturing Practices, and preventive controls. Good manufacturing practices, or GMPs, are the basic foundational sanitation standards all animal feed and pet food operations must follow to prevent product contamination. Every operation covered under the rule must comply with the GMPs. More information on the GMPs can be found at the Penn State FSMA website. Preventive controls are procedures in place based on the specific product and process of an operation. These are established in a hazard analysis developed by the company. Not every operation covered under the rule will need to implement preventive controls. Now, let's see if any of your animal or pet food products are covered under the preventive controls for animal food rule. First of all, what does it mean to be covered by a rule? Covered means that your business or product falls under the regulation. Some animal feed products are not covered under the rule, and so they do not fall under the regulation. However, if your feed products are covered, you need to make sure you are in compliance with each of the specific requirements in the regulation. In some cases, businesses producing covered products are eligible for certain exemptions to the rules. 
We'll use a series of flowcharts to help you figure out whether or not your animal feed or pet food products are covered under the rule. We'll present you with some statements, and then depending on which statement you agree with, you will move to the next set of statements until you determine your FSMA status. We'll start with two situations where animal feed or pet food is either produced on a farm or at a location other than a farm. Let's start with a farm where animal food processing or manufacturing occurs. According to the FDA, a farm is an operation devoted to raising animals and or growing, harvesting, packing, or holding crops. A farm establishment that conducts both farming and processing activities is called a mixed-type facility. So, if your farm also conducts processing activities, then your operation is a mixed-type facility, and you may or may not be covered under the animal food rule. To figure this out, you need to consider two questions. First, is your farm and feed business 100% vertically integrated? That means that the farm, the feed processing operation, and all of the animals that consume all of the feed are the same location and under the same ownership or management. If so, then the animal feed or pet food processed or manufactured on your farm is not covered under the animal food rule. But if your business is not 100% vertically integrated, meaning that at least some of your farm processed feed products are sold to other businesses under different ownership or management than your farm, then all of your products are covered under the animal food rule. Now let's consider the second case of an off-farm animal feed or pet food processing or manufacturing operation. All animal feed products produced at a location other than a farm are covered under the preventive controls for animal food rule. It's just that simple. If you are still unsure of whether your products are covered, go to the Penn State FSMA website at extension.psu dot edu slash fsma to learn more details and to find an expert who can help you.